Hi there, it's uh, DriveWide DIY here in the Severa. Just thought I'd do a little video on your uh, air intake sensor. So if you get a code or you get the uh, light come up on your dash and you uh, scan it and you get this or something similar, then it's probably going to be your intake air temperature sensor. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to change it and where it is. And this is for a Severa B. And it is similar on other cars as well. Uh, if you just look at your uh, air box, uh, air filter box and the pipe going into it is something you'd normally find. It's not the mass airflow sensor, it's the uh, air intake sensor which is a tiny little probably two wire, might be sometimes three wire uh, sensor that goes into your duct. So uh, it's quite a simple video. I'm going to show you how to change it uh, and show you a little bit about the wiring but nothing major because obviously this is for a DIY. So if you, get a code, if you get a code like this then this is what you're going to be doing, especially on the Zafira. So on the uh, Zafira, uh, basically you want the air intake sensor here, this is what this is. Very simple sensor, just pull out the wiring. You've got a two pin sensor there. Uh, if you've got it plugged in, you probably should be able to, work. once you've unplugged it, it should go to a five volt uh, bias voltage. Uh, that will suggest that your wiring's probably okay uh, and your uh, sensor has probably had it. Uh, but to take your sensor out and change it, basically you've got a rubber grommet round there and you've got to try and prise it, prise it out. Just be gentle though, because obviously uh, you don't want to damage it just in case the sensor's okay. Uh, so uh, I suppose I'd advise a little bit of uh, rubber silicon grease just to try and uh, get it in there and see if it'll come out uh, easier rather than trying to pull it. So the first thing I'm going to do with the test, I'm just going to take do an ohms test on the actual sensor. So I've got about five ohms. And obviously I need to check that with the specs of the car and to see what the sensor is actually uh, specified, a good sensor is specified. So you need to compare that to something. I'll just get you in. So there's only two pins on this. So hopefully you can see that. So, and the idea is the resistance is five ohms. Uh, and you can do a test on that where you could send warm air through the, through the uh, duct and it would perhaps and watch the uh, sensor react to it. Uh, what I'm going to do next is do some uh, live data on it as well and just see what. Uh, when the car's running, how the sensor reacts. So we know, looking at our live data so far, uh, that it's picking up 14 degrees, which is the same outside. So with the car's not running yet, so hopefully uh, it'll start, when we turn the engine on, it'll start to, uh, to actually pick up uh, as a car heats up. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what happens when we turn the car on. So I've got the uh, engine running now. So if you look at the, uh, it's starting to flicker to 16 because the engine's been running for a little bit now and start to feel the heat, be sucking in the heat from the engine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a two wire sensor. Uh, one, of the, one of the wires is grounded to the computer and the other one is a five volt, five volt vet reference. There are other tasks you can do, but if you've got a, a, a code reader with a bit of live data on it, uh, simple live data would probably tell you that because if it's actually, if it shows you something different, like I don't know, it's reading like 40 degrees or 30 degrees or one degree or two degrees, and it's it's not matching what's outside, then uh, you probably, sh you know, you've got an issue either with your wiring or your uh, or your sensor. Uh, for the price of sensors, I'll probably go for uh, uh, a genuine sensor. I wouldn't get anything aftermarket cheap. Uh, check your wiring. Check your connectors uh, obviously if you've got a wiring problem you could have an ECU problem stuff like that you know you could be at this all the time but as uh, normally it's probably that it's probably the actual sensor that's gone so it might be worth checking that first 
uh, making sure that you've got good resistance on it. Uh, you could actually do, you know, you could heat it up, uh, use your DVOM, heat it up with a hairdryer or something, just to see if it actually moves. Uh, but if it's something a little bit more, uh, I don't know, complicated than that, and it is a wiring issue, then you might want to spend a little bit more time seeing what, where your open is. But it's only two wires, so uh, following back to the computer and just see what's going on there. So, well, I hope, you know, this is just a quick hit, really. Hopefully it helps you with your uh, intake air temperature sensor. Very simple sensor. See, it looks changing now. It's gone to 17. Uh, so, uh, hopefully this will help you. Thanks for watching.